Okay, so I am going to make this video the date of recording. Date and time. So this is uh, some notes taken over in the last day or so. <laughs> so I was uh, let me just cut and paste this. Oh well. Anyway, I was watching this Twitter. Ah, listening this Twitter space which is here and as in spa and also this is sort of like a summary of my me thinking when I was watching it I mean listening to it I became inspired to hmm Anyway, <laughs> uh, these are just some of the sources of. Anyway, so um, right. we humans are not special. Let's just assume that. That let's just assume that, uh, you know, let's ask ourselves this. Or the, the, let's think about this. We humans are not special. Because I was hearing things like, we humans are special because we can love and care, and maybe that's what they envy us or something. I want to say it's something like this. We humans are not special. We are created. Okay, let's just see it. So what if? What if we are created by other non-human intelligent entities? Let's say who may be interdimensional, whom we cannot perceive with our senses. What if we are being used as a resource, like farm animals, to fulfill some function or functions that we may, that we can speculate on? So we can, we don't know what they're using us for, but we can think about it. Also, another thing, the beings who created us do not want us to know they exist. So they want, or maybe some of the beings, some of the beings, some of the beings, maybe others do. So perhaps in the past, they revealed themselves to us openly lived with us, you know, the gods lived with the people. And maybe due to their cruel behavior, oppression, we rebelled and fought back, and in response they may have destroyed various civilizations or villages or towns or cities and started the process again of uh, process of civilization. You know, humans don't like to be controlled and oppressed, even by human governments. So these beings try to control us in secret. So these thoughts were inspired by listening to this X space and other sources I have consumed <laughs> in these past six or so months. You know, ever since the. Uh, David Grush uh, hearing in Congress. These beings may have the power to destroy planets. You know, there's a planet between Jupiter and Mars. There's, there's, I mean, there's this asteroid belt, and they think that might be the remnants of a planet which was destroyed. And what happened to Mars? 
they can create natural disasters on this planet and this even humans have this technology you know weather weapons and you know the, let me just look it up and i think some of these earthquakes are caused by scalar weapons where these the way the scalar weapons is like they you need three sources pointing to a target and it's a way it's like the the scalar waves can cancel each other out so they can penetrate places and when you shift the frequency the effect of the weapon can be projected you know that's a, that was an explanation i saw somewhere um you know earthquakes can be caused by scalar and what is that whistleblower who was um who, who was um who talked about these um these neutrino detectors in uh, in the Antarctic that caused earthquakes in New Zealand. There was this, someone talked about that. Now, uh, again, I was listening to this. I'm not sure if we can say because in here in this video, yeah, uh, look, around one fifty one in this. They're talking about like how I've heard this in other places as well, like how there are these global cyclical cataclysms that have yeah, maybe they happen every twelve thousand years, twenty six thousand years. So wow, well, and I've also so that's one view is that there's this natural cyclical cataclysm and this is what the deep state doesn't want us to know because they're preparing underground bunkers and they're going to hide out there and wait for most of the population to be wiped out and then after that they can come back to the service and control whatever population that's left so what what if and this is the and then the opposing view to the idea that of natural disaster is artificial disaster and the um, you know the I've heard other people say well maybe the disasters aren't caused naturally but they are actually created by aliens who were tired of the humans and the humans were rebelling. Now, so I'm not sure if we can say that cataclysmic events in Earth's history is natural. They could have been artificially created by these beings in order to enforce control and possibly rebel as humans or our ancestors. Uh, here's an excellent, excellent discussion about why the ETs might want to keep their presence a secret from us. So, in this space, around one hour fifty-one. This is a, it's a good. In this idea of natural cyclical, some of the reasons why they might want to keep it a secret. Um, you know, you should think. You should. Uh, there was in twenty twelve. There was this. Um, Electro the coronal there's a Carrington event. You should look into that Carrington event. And that could have wiped out all electricity, internet. I mean imagine if they you know how the internet is like the people are so so much of the information is being spread by the internet and it's hard for the controllers, the deep state bad aliens. It's hard to keep for them to keep the narrative, the information narrative, and that's how they control people, right? By key, by they have control over the media, they can control you, right? But what if this they do they got rid of the internet? Then we'll all go back to the literally, we'll go back to the dark ages, the dark ages where information is controlled. So in 2012, that could have happened, maybe. Mm -hmm. But but uh, it seems like there were only a few days and the Earth could have been hit. And I heard it mentioned in one of the, in a video or so, I mean, maybe some ETs stopped that event from hitting Earth. It was intimated that that could have happened. Uh, because it seems so improbable that we could have escaped it so in such a... We were so close to being hit. Um... So around you know it seems most of humanity is going to get wiped out and there is nothing anyone can do about it well the aliens are in control it seems if that is the case 
Do we have any savior aliens or is that just a ruse to get our guards down? Maybe, you know, you hear us talk, talk about like there are good ETs and bad ETs. But what if they both are working on the same team and they're like trying to... So the good ETs will try and tell you, oh, look, we, we, we're looking out for you. Don't worry, we got it, uh, you know. This is so the humans don't panic. This is so the humans don't try to figure things out. Because in another, I heard this information in some video I was watching where where one of these um, abductees or contactees, they, they viewed the uh, ETs as uh, like good cop playing good cop, bad cop. What if they're doing that? I hate these ETs. Let me just say it. I want out of this planet. <laughs> I just want, if this is true, I want out of this prison planet, man. Um, here's a, there could be, you know, the the film, was it? This, Leave the World Behind. And this is, uh, they're talking about like how they might be mind control, like this, using sonic uh, frequencies to control. And this is, I think this is about, about the movie. I think here is where, I think this is an Alex Jones interview where he talks about Tucker Carlson and what he meant by, this is an interview, like, like, what are these interdimensional aliens, what is the, what is the dark, uh, what's so dark about what, what's going on here? Uh, so that's an interesting interview there, to get an idea. So, uh, okay, here we're doing that about the whole blackmail, manipulation, control of power. Control of power over all the powerful the elites. What? You know, the Epstein documents and all of that. Um, <laughs> uh, so, elites are compromised. El Possible scenarios, you know, maybe the people who run this planet, celebrities, uh, people in positions of power, scientists, military, maybe they all compromise and using the blackmail. Maybe the elites are, if the elites are humans, they could be compromised. Maybe the elites are alien hybrids, maybe the elites are aliens. They all could be one big, you know, group mix. What is their agenda? Is it a dark agenda? Is there going to be a true great reset where the current global civilization is going to be wiped out? Are the masses going to be killed in a natural or artificial global catastrophe? Was it thwarted like in 2019, 2012, sun, see me. It's another thing with when you think about this Epstein thing, sexual sexuality as a means of control. And here is what you should ask yourself. What if the aliens created sexuality in order to control humans. And I mean, if you look at evolution, yes, sexuality is used to propagate the species. But what if it is not just a means of propagation, but what if it is a means of controlling people? You see, see look how easy it is to corrupt humans through sex. All, all, the, all these allegations of the media, blackmail, extortion. See, you know, here's another video by Alex Jones. Where they talk about this really dark stuff. 36, 40 minutes in this video. There is conflict within the government. This is another idea. It's not like... It's not when you think about the military or the government or the deep state. You, it's not like the whole deep state is one common thing. It's like there is fighting within the deep state. There is conflict within the government, military, intelligence communities. It could very well be that the rogue intelligent operatives. You might just have a few people in very high places. You know, they might give orders. And the people executing the orders might not know why they're doing it. They might not be told who the targets are. So this is how people in the highest positions of power who have gone rogue, who've maybe have done bad things in the past and they want to maintain, you know, their secrecy. So you, you can, because of the compartmentalization, you know, the need to know the people who are on the ground who are actually doing the stuff or, or might not know what they're doing. You know, 
they might be sent to some place um, and said, okay, you do this task and someone else will be set to do this. And then they don't know what the whole plan is, you know. You know, like the Nord Stream, you know, false flag operations. There's a real conflict behind the scenes. So here is a good summary of the UFO in 1977. This is like a British diplomat. He was he's talking about like how he thinks some of them might be interdimensional and how human beings are not cannot perceive them. Uh, and our public understanding of this topic seems not to have advanced much. Ever even in 1977, have we really has the public really been told? Have we? Publicly, do we know much more? Do the people behind the scenes know more a lot? I'm going to calm down. <laughs> the cover-up. Why the cover-up? It's the secrecy which is troubling. What did Jared Moskowitz say in that uh, interview last year where they said that, you know, the House Oversight Committee, the UAP caucus, whenever they're trying to ask uh, in these secret hearings, you know, they had when they ask questions, they are being told they're not when they ask questions, they're not being told no, it's not true. They're just saying they're just not being given an answer. And why are they telling if they if the aliens UFOs don't exist, why don't they just say what they will say is they will say when you ask um when the Pentagon will the official position seems to be these are not extraterrestrial, okay? So, so that's what they say. So they're not saying there's another non-human intelligence. They're just saying it's not extraterrestrial. We don't have evidence that there is any extraterrestrial. Well, what about interdimensional? What about non-human? And they always say another thing. They will say is this is not a threat. See, they don't say they're not saying they're not denying its existence. We haven't found anything that is deemed to be a threat. See, so, they, so, so those are the two things they will say. They're saying it's not extraterrestrial and we don't determine it to be a threat. So it could be interdimensional. And yeah, maybe it's not a threat. Maybe it's just another, or, or, you know, maybe they don't know or so, whatever. But just because it's not a threat doesn't mean it doesn't exist. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, what if these interdimensional beings feed on our soul, psychic energies, and perhaps especially negative states, and they create and manipulate us to provide these negative psychic states? Maybe some of them, uh, non-human intelligence, are uh, created and used as robots to implement their plan on Earth. The three LM. What my what I mean by that is, maybe some of the physical creatures, the greys, the reptilians, maybe these physical beings are created by higher dimensional beings, right? Maybe these other alien creatures are also being manipulated just like humans to, to, um, as, as, as a way to provide psychic energy, you know, maybe, maybe humans are you know these these negative interdimensional maybe these interdimensional beings are influencing humans to go to war to fight with each other because by doing so it creates negative psychic states that I, that they feed on they could also be using other aliens and you uh and and forcing them to manipulate humans and and by doing so to again extract the psychic resource from the majority of the people who are ignorant of this so you could say humans and some aliens are created and used to produce negative psychic states that these interdimensional beings feed on you know so some it's like it's like uh, there might be other alien species which are just in the same spot as we are, or they might know more about what's going on, and and they're it's like a a, a a tier system, you know, like you got the very top, you got the interdimensionals, and then you got the uh, 
three-dimensional ETs, and then you got humans, and it's like a big hierarchy, you know, <laughs> of a system of exploitation. <laughs> um, so anyway, I think I'll, I'll end it there. Bye.